All right, so I am here at the other side of Walking Street. I'm just gonna do a quick walk through. Uh, this is Fields Plaza here, McDonald's, and I'm on this end of the Walking Street. So I'll just walk through. This is the trike station, trike drivers. Hello. They're all very nice. Um, yeah, so I'll just uh, walk you through here. It's a little bright right now. It's approximately, it's 8 a.m. Uh, today is November 11th. Walking street sign. So, and it, the year is 2018. So, November 11, 2018, um, Walking Street. So, there's Bretos. Here is Hello, sir. Uh, these bunch of shops here. Notice there's there's a lot of construction going on. There was um there's a candy sweets tower that in May next uh, it was it's next to Alicia Condotel. In May it was uh, just pretty much a hole in the ground and now they're they're four stories up six months later. So it's amazing. But yeah, some of the places have changed names. I hope to uh, show you those. So this is the Bingo um, Bangkok Hotel here. Here is a walkabout by the story, whatever that is. I'm not using my camera phone, I'm using an actual camera because um, it has the anti-shake and a lot of people, you know, had had problems with uh, the shaking of the camera which I didn't really notice as I'm walking through I guess that is what it is um, yep so these bars have changed names I'm assuming they changed owners to ownership but um or maybe not, maybe they just changed names. But a lot of these bars are now Korean bars. And I went in Korean town, there's a lot going there's a lot of construction going on there too. I feel like they're building their own version of um, this. Like walking well not necessarily a walking street, but you know the same the same type of setup. You have a lot of bars, but the bars mostly cater to Korean customers. So this place is actually for sale. It says They'll sell to a, they'll sell to foreigners or Filipino. Uh, gossip bar. I've seen this this place change change a couple times. It used to be hangout, but now no longer. You see that the street vendors are still out. It's still early. Good morning, Kuya. So um, the Bali Bago Hotel. This place this place is new. Uh, you have the tattoo shop here. This for a little while was like a Mexican, Mexican um, spot, a Mexican eating spot, you know, like tacos, burritos, and things like that. There's a lot of Mexican uh, influence here. They really love Mexican um, style stuff. I actually got, um, I got called Mexican. So I'm actually, I'm Spanish, but not Mexican. So, uh, I forgot what this used to be, but now, you know, this place always had three levels to it. Alright, so here we are, um, Galaxy Hotel right here. A lot of noted. Try to zoom in and zoom out on things for you. Hopefully that's not, uh, you know, problematic. The police. I have the phone, I have the camera set on automatic creatures, so I don't want to be blamed for anything 
that goes wrong. It's my bad. I mean, I apologize. It's the camera's fault. Uh, now this place is Flamingo Bar. And here we have our Kada Club. Shawarma shop. Mass and drug there. Uh, it's a little shop here, but you have the money exchange right here. Right now it's fifty two seventy five. Last week, well, when I first got here, it was actually fifty three, mm, fifty three sixty. So it's gone down a peso in about two weeks. Last week it was fifty. It was it was pretty much flat. Of 50, it was close to fifty three. And then we hit the weekend, and since then it's it's been going down. But it's been go it's it's current it's been popping back up like rebounding since that. So it, was, it went from 53 to I want to say 52.30 was the lowest I've seen, and now we're at 52.75. The rates don't change over the weekend, so it stays flat, and the exchangers um will take a little more than what they usually take. I want to say that the exchange rate right now is like 52.90 or 52, um, maybe even 53, you know? And they're taking 25 cents. But usually their normal take is like 10 or 15 cents. But on the weekends, they'll take 25. So that's kind of what I mean. Hello, sir. So this is Viking Bar, right? Oh, no. Viking? Ah, okay. Fair enough. Whoa, Grand Central, sorry. Sun is out. I should have came out a little earlier, I guess. At least the sun's behind me. So I um I find I find myself getting ex uh money exchange at this spot too sometimes. I'll compare this place with the one that I just showed you back there. Hello ma'am. So a lot of shops here you have a dental clinic don't be shy to use them I guess I got a cleaning for 500 pesos not at this place it's somewhere else so this place is Apple bad boy our man Rusty here selling t-shirts if you see him, I guess you should pick up some shirts from him because I have a friend uh, who, who picks up stuff from him. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is Shooter's Bar. I'm sorry with the sun. I uh, just passed it. But. Uh, Club XS. Voodoo is 24 hours. See, as advertised there. I, I think people are going to get upset about the sun. I'm sorry about that. Um, monsoon. Shipwreck. This is Phillies here. I won't take, uh, I won't point the picture that the, at the foreigners that are sitting on the, on the side. But it's a nice, it's a nice spot to just, you know, <laughs> sit down have some food and watch the people traffic during you know i guess the afternoon when people are going to work or um you know coming out of work well people are going to work literally from like one to six seven or eight so you're still thinking on me just like i know you so the last lot uh, owl's nest, it's still owl's nest. You have uh, this is Mabamba, Lollipop. Let's keep walking here. Gecko's bar. Q bar. 
Now this, remember at Valhalla, we didn't know what the construction was. They were gonna uh, keep it a bar. Well, they did keep a certain, certain portion of it is still a bar, but it's a lot smaller. It was, it was a lot of space before. But now it's turned into a shopping, uh, Tayo, Kimbap Tayo, and K-Pop Lounge KTV on the second floor. I haven't been out much, but every time that I pass, I haven't necessarily seen anybody, anybody there. So I don't know how well it's doing in the business department. But here we have Fields Hotel, Red, Hiring, Dollhouse. See, back in the day, this would still be open. They'd be doing something because it was 24 hours before. That's changed. I'm actually gonna do a video of uh, the back street as well. Uh, yep. So, yeah. Beer garage. Cattle, bar, bar, hotel, um, pizza, the bistro. Micron. Oh, I was at the ABC, at the Aqua Beach Club the other day. On Wednesdays, it's ladies, ladies day. So, um, the girls actually can come in for free and they get 250 pesos consumable. And you would, uh, as a foreigner, you would have to pay 500 and you get that as, as a consumable, no sharing. So you can't necessarily combine your 500 with someone else's 250. It doesn't work like that. For some reason it doesn't work like that. So just giving you guys a heads up. Um, the Mega Dance Center nightclub, I guess also goes with um high society as a spot that you know you can you can meet you can meet up girls and stuff good morning sir no thank you no thank you um and aqua beach club is also becoming a place like that hello sir so it's become a place where girls will go and hang out and stuff like that well especially on i guess on wednesdays that's that that would be a big thing because they, they get a free entrance. But I think otherwise they have to pay to go in. And I don't see them paying the 500 to go and try to meet try to meet folks. This is Envy. Very interesting place. You have a, it, it's pretty much, you, it's kind of like Philly's to where it's a place you go, stop, get some food, um, watch sports. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure which one is more popular, to be honest. Um, Phillies is actually undergoing some renovations. They used, they used to have a stage, right? There used to be a stage, but now they've uh, replaced that stage with a big, a big screen TV. So I guess they're, they're, going, they're going more, more into being a uh, sports bar. And that's pretty much it. This is the end of Walking Street. That's the, that's the Walking Street sign on the other end. And that's it. This is Ariel Penn signing off from Walking Street, November 11, 2018. Adios. Have a great day.